Welcome back fellow rebels. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, today is a travel day. We are actually going to take Sunshine up to northern Arkansas to stay in an area. We're going to do some boondocking for a couple of days. Uh, we just decided to do this last minute just to kind of get away for the weekend and we're going to go up there to a place called Sam's Throne. We've shown that to you before in a previous video about some free boondocking areas in Arkansas, but we've decided to go up there and try it out ourselves. So let's go. We're packing up and as you can see, Shane's out there uh, putting the awnings up and doing some of the other out side stuff that needs to be done before we leave and I've got a lot of stuff cleared off here working on clearing off the countertops and I've got the bedroom and the bathroom pretty much done so we're just going to finish this up and then we're going to get on the road the slide is in now and everything is put away inside we've got the drawers well actually the only thing we have left to secure is the refrigerator the last time we went down to Hot Springs, we had the latch locked on the refrigerator, but I guess there was too much stuff that was heavy in the door, and it, the door flew open anyway on the way back home. So we're going to tape, take some masking tape and tape the refrigerator door shut and the freezer, I guess, as well. But other than that, we are pretty much done. Shane is taking, filling the water tank now and unhooking all of the hookups and then... We're going to get out of here and head north. get going we have to dump our tank and also stop and get some diesel and some propane and then we'll be on the way
Here's Shane pulling into our camp spot right along the side of the road here. We finally got all settled in and now we had to grab us something to eat because we're pretty hungry. He hadn't eaten since breakfast. And I just threw together a little salad here. It's some spinach, red onion, I sliced up some pears and grapes. Uh, and then it's got pistachios and some goat cheese on it. And then for the dressing, I made uh, a basil, it's got basil in it, olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper, and a little bit of honey. And it's really good. So that's what's for lunch. You got the fire going. Look at that. It's fire. Yeah. Somewhat. The sun just finally came out. You can kind of see it on the leaves. It's really cool out here though. The weather, the temperature has really dropped. What was it? It was 78 degrees I think when we left home. And now, when we got up here, it's 63. And now it's about 56, 55, 56 degrees. And I think it's supposed to be about, the low tonight is 43. So <laughs> we may be a little chilly tonight, but that's okay. We stopped and got some um, uh, small propane bottles for our buddy eater. So we should be okay. It's out of here now and the skies have all cleared up and we got pretty blue skies. The sunset's probably going to be really pretty. Good morning. We survived last night. It did get pretty cold. I think well, it, it was 59 in here when we got up, and I know it's probably about 47 outside. It's It got quite cold. We used the buddy heater for quite a while last night before we went to bed, and then uh, when it, it actually went out, it used all the propane, and then so we just, uh, just didn't use any heat for the rest of the night, but I slept fine. I only got cold a couple of times, but... I don't get cold very often, so <laughs> it worked out good for me. But when we got up this morning, it was it was 59 inside uh, the rig, and so Ch Shane turned on the generator, the Jenny as we call it, turned on the generator, and so right now we've got the heat going, and we're charging all of our electronics, our laptop, uh, tablets, and phones, and those kinds of things. So that way, uh, we can use those later, and hopefully. The sun will come out and uh, we'll get some silver as well. Uh, and then later today, we're going to do some hiking. So we'll take you along and show you what we find hiking, the views that we're going to see. Uh, but for right now, I think we're fixing to cook some breakfast. fire this morning to sit out here and drink my coffee. I stole my chair back. <laughs> well mine this one has the little thing right yeah. here that you can that houses your coffee cup. Yeah see? and see she hated that chair when I bought it. She didn't like it. She it was the only one they had and we got it and she's like I don't like this. 
Well. And then now she just wants it because it's got the tape. No, 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 no. No. You asked me in the store if I wanted that one, and I said not really, and you ended up buying it anyway. How many other choices did they have that day? Well, I mean, I'll give that to you. They didn't have very many choices that day, mm -hmm. but this chair, I, I like the chair, except for the back of it is all open, so there's no back support. That's the only thing I really don't like about it. Well, it's a director's chair. Show everybody what the back looks like. <laughs> And you're operating the camera, so I guess it's appropriate. It's here. Let me get back here a little bit. In the smoke. And sh yeah, get right to this, <laughs> right to the smoke, and show you the chair. It's got a little table on it, and it's got a place for your phone or a tablet, and then your cup, and then the little cup holder has the little divot in it or the whatever that is right there for your handle. And, but the back of it's out, so, you know, it's not very supportive. But other than that, I do like it. We have a few hiking trail books that we really like, and this is one of them. It's Arkansas's, or Arkansas Nature Lover's Guidebook, and it has a lot of really cool hiking trails and driving trails and other things but so this is the trail that we're going to be hiking today is Sam's Throne which is right here where we are and we're going to go hike that and we're going to go see we've never done this trail before so this is going to be new to both of us and it's called Sam's Throne because uh I don't know if it's a legend or if it's true. I think it's supposed to be true, but there used to be a man a long time ago who used to preach from this area right here. And that's why it's called Sam's Throne because his name was Sam. So we're going to go see what that's all about. Here's the entrance to the trail. This is Sam's Loop Trail. Chicken head wall access. That's funny. <laughs> There's walls got chicken heads on it. <laughs> like a bird over a tree. You can even see cattle down there in the field. I'm fields. just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here. The world seems small We can sit together it's so I just noticed something I think that's a an upside down tree It may have fallen off the cliff but it's still hanging on by roots That tree there I don't know, it's pretty neat How's that for a campsite with a view like that? There's a fire pit right there. We're over here at the Sam's Throne area and we found this little, I don't know what you call this, but it says, let love be without dissemination, abhor that which is evil, cleave to which is good, Romans 12, 9. This is supposed to be where I guess the preacher Sam preached his messages. I can see why he would want to preach out here. This is beautiful. Although I have to admit, if I was out here and he was preaching, I might be a little distracted by the, by the beauty, but still, this is beautiful. the edge right there. I'm not I'm not afraid of heights by any means but I am a little known to be clumsy so I don't get close to the edge. We saw this sitting over here all by itself and we just wondered what it was. We thought it was trash at first, but it's not trash. Looks like it's a 
Well, it's a bunch of wet paper, but... Oh, it's a bunch of... Oh, I guess people write notes and they leave them. Unfortunately, somebody left, the, left it open to where it got wet. Oh, yeah. Well, they had to leave it open, I guess, because the bag's not... Is this a, one of those um, geocache things? Well, I don't think it's a geocache because it's just out in the open, but I think well, it it's just... Right here in this... this could have been. There's water down in this hole, so somebody might have dug it out of the hole to dry out. Well, it could be a geocache. I don't know. Usually you leave trinkets. I don't normally write notes, but... Well, there are things in here. Oh, there are things in there? Oh, well, this is a geocache. I bet we just come across it just... Huh. Okay, well, that's cool. We, we, don't, have any, we don't have anything to leave, but if we did... <laughs> Paper's wet. Yeah. Find some interesting things. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've done any geocaching. We'll have to start doing that again. 10, we were just talking about that last night at the fire. 10, 16, 16. Oh my gosh, 10, 16, 16. What's today? Today, today is 10, 16. Oh my gosh, today is 10, 16, 21. Wow. Wow, five years ago today. Ah, huh, isn't that interesting? Okay, so that I saw on this here, this page, page that I pulled out, it says Alexander Supertramp, 7216, happiness is only real when it's shared. I don't know if anybody's seen that movie, um, Into the Wild, but, and I don't know if this is the same person, but he called himself Alexander Supertramp, and that's the saying that he said in the movie and in his journal, happiness is only shared only real when it's shared. Somebody drew a sun on one of the rocks up here with some chalk. So that just reminds you to live in the sunshine. I just wanted to mention that this is the second time that we've come across a geocache just by accident. <laughs> the first one we ever came across was out at uh, Forked Mountain Wilderness area didn't even know what geocaching was at that time and we happened to come across one and thought that was the neatest thing <laughs> that kind of is what put us on the path to doing some geocaching but it's been a couple years since we've done any but all the paper is so wet in this that there's no way it'd be so it'd take forever to dry it out if you're not familiar with geocaching um there are a lot of apps that you can get on your phone that lets you know the coordinates of the little caches that you find and when you find one you're supposed to uh, there's usually a lot of things inside the containers and you're supposed to take something from the container and leave something and then write your name and a message or in the address um, the date on it and then that way people know you found it so that's kind of what you're supposed to do with a geocache. And look down into there. We're in a conundrum. I don't think there's an actual, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Definite trail. Bunch of bushwhacking out here. So we've kind of don't really know if we're on the trail or not. We've tried several different routes. So uh, next time we probably should have downloaded the GPS coordinates. So maybe we could have uh, used them out here because we don't have any cell service. So we're just going to have to keep on trekking and see, see where it leads us. We don't really know where we're going. Like I said, there's not a, a designated trail here, but we came across this little ribbon in the tree. So we're hoping that signifies that we are on a trail. <laughs> Guess we'll see. We were hearing pigeons or doves or whatever, right over there on top of that rock. You can see them moving.
So I guess it's paid off that we kept just trekking. We found another marker and we think we found a way down to what is there we're just underneath the overlook underneath the cliff so we think we're gonna we think we found the spot i guess the ribbon marks the spot huh <laughs> yeah there's another ribbon down below i see on the tree down there so it must be the way to go okay there's only so many ways you can get down here because it's all cliffs yeah well i'm not doing any rock climbing to get down there so this looks like the easiest way so here we go so at the bottom well we're not to the complete bottom yet but further down from where we were of the first ribbon here's another ribbon and then over here there's a couple of ribbons on this tree right here oh i'm gonna have to get over this fallen log but there's a couple of ribbons on that tree an orange and a blue one so i think the blue one is someone's sock <laughs> the blue one is someone's sock oh or underwear. has no, bojack been here <laughs> uh anyway yeah it looks like a piece of material but anyway so i think we found the way down so and there's another marker over here, Shane said. So I think we're we're doing good. Oh man, that breeze feels wonderful. So I just don't know how we're gonna get back up. I guess we can go back up the same way if we can find the same way. <laughs> I think we'll probably just get lost like everybody else and find our way back. Shane said he thinks we'll just get lost like everyone else and find our way back. I guess so. <laughs> if if we get lost, hey, if you don't hear from us, uh, send help. <laughs> Gotta hear from us if they see that video, you know what makes <laughs> If you find the camera. If you find the camera, you know we've got lost. <laughs> Looks like there's a cave over here, possibly. It's a good place to camp. What's that noise? It's water. It's like water draining through a pipe. What is that? Wow, that is strange. It's very weird. Okay, I'm kind of scared to go see what that is. <laughs> Where's that coming from? We've got to go investigate. Oh, I, oh, sorry. I see it trickling out of there. Oh, it's just coming out from the rocks and it's coming out down here. It's flowing. Cool. It's just coming out from the rocks up above. It's hard to get a perspective on film, but this is, these are massive cliffs here. Huge rock over our head. Doesn't make me feel too good, but I don't see any big cracks in it or anything. So around the corner here, there's huge giant overhead rocks, but a really neat spot to camp. If it's storming or raining or whatever. She make you a fire there. Got some rocks to sit on. I'm looking back out that way. Oh, look at all these ferns. really pretty up here. Susan loves her ferns. I do. I love ferns. What makes me nervous about standing underneath these giant overhangs like this? You see this massive rock here? That was up there at one time. And there's a bigger one over here. Look at that one came from somewhere way up high. This is a popular rock climbing place as we mentioned earlier. So here's a wall here. You can see the hooks. This 
this one further up, up there. But once you get up there, you gotta kind of, there's a hook right there. So you gotta kind of go upside down there for a minute, or whatever they call that, a negative. Whatever, I don't know the terminology. There's a cave like area. Okay, we noticed something weird here. There's a chain hanging right there, a piece of a chain. Huh. This is something the rock climbers use. Well, look what we found. A heart-shaped hole in a cliff. <laughs> I really want to see what's inside that hole, but I think other rock climbers have been all around it too. According to those carabiner things. I think pictures don't really do this justice or video, but that's a massive rock overhang. Today, Susan's going to show us how to rock climb. Go, Susan, go. Come on. The only ghost right there. Huh? The only ghost like uh -huh. 10 feet. Thank you. Aww. Wah, wah, wah. We finally made it back up to the road and into the campground. Thank you, Lord. There's sunshine down the way waiting on us. I tell you, I need some water. When we started this journey, we talked about taking some water with us and we decided no we're not gonna be gone that long we don't need to take any water oh man I wish I'd, we'd taken water but and just about the time that I really felt parched and I needed some water good Lord sent me a really good cool breeze oh it's just what I needed oh don't I look a hot mess let me tell you that was a it was a good trail. It had lots of scenic areas in the trail, but uh, it wasn't a designated trail, but it, you could still see where you were going. So it was a good trail, but if you have ankle problems, I would not recommend hiking that trail because it was very rocky, very steep at times. So it was kind of a moderate to difficult trail, but it was, it was worth it if you like uh, hiking. Then um, lots of caves, lots of places to explore, beautiful scenery, great overlooks. So it had a lot to offer. Shane was back there checking to see if we had any sun on the solar. I already knew because I checked the monitor. Oh, the, yeah. He said he already knew we didn't because he checked the monitor and it wasn't, no. wasn't charging. But we are in the shade right here, but it will, there is open sky above. About 30 minutes of the sun. Yeah, there is open sky above the rig, so. Uh, there's the sun right there so in just a little bit it'll be over the rig and we should be getting some solar although it does sit lower in the sky this time of year but we'll still we'll still get some you're a fire tender it's not too cool dude how does that not stick Oh, there you go. That's there cool. you go. That yeah, was cool. cool. That was cool. That's how to be cool. <laughs> Follow me for more cool recipes. Cool. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. So we've got an afternoon fire. It's lunchtime. We did that big long hike. So we got us a little outdoor table here. We're going to 
cooking some hot dogs over the flame. Although, I know hot dogs aren't the healthiest thing. I won't eat mine on a bun. I'm just going to eat the hot dog and a piece of cheese. But they are uncured hot dogs, so they are better than most, I guess. But still not the best. But that's okay. We also have some kombucha that we're going to drink. I really like the blueberry ginger kombucha and Shane likes the pineapple peach kombucha. So it's just, uh, if you've never heard of kombucha, it's basically fermented tea. Uh, Shane used to make uh, his own kombucha and it was actually really good, but kind of, I guess we just kind of, yeah, it is kind of, it is it is labor intensive. There's a lot you have to do with it. But anyway, so that's what we're going to be drinking.